Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 20 amazing iPhone hidden features and settings that you probably never knew of and of course you should know about them because they are very very useful and will help you a lot on the daily use of your iPhone. The first couple of hidden settings that I will show you guys can be found under privacy. So if you go to privacy and you go to location services, right here we'll find share my location. If you go here we'll find find my iPhone and here of course you can enable or disable find my iPhone. But you will also have two other options right here you have a new option called find my network now what this allows you to do is that it will allow you to basically participate on find my iphone which will let you locate your iphone even though it might be offline that of course through your network you will be able to locate your iphone if you lost it or it got like robbed or something like that it will be located even though the device might be offline right beneath it you will also find send last location now what this does if enabled it will send apple the last location of your iPhone when the battery is critically low. So if you lost your iPhone, the battery is critically low, it will send location that time before it gets turned off. So that's of course very, very useful as well. Now under location services, if you scroll down, you will also find system services. Now here we'll see all the different system services that will use your location. Of course, you can enable or disable them right here. Now, if you go ahead and scroll all the way down, you will find here status bar icon. Now, if you have this disabled, it won't show you the location services icon on the status bar when location service is being used by system services. But if you enable this, then it will show you the icon right there on the status bar just like it does for apps it will do the same for system services when of course they're using the location of your device under the general settings if you go to about of course here you will see all the different details regarding your device now if you need to know the model number you can see right here it says model number but it's actually the part number if you tap right there then it will switch to the model number so anytime you need to know the model number you will be able to find it right there also on software version right there, it only shows you the software version. Of course, I'm on iOS 14 right there. It won't show more details, but if you tap on it, it will also show you the build number of the current iOS version that you have on. Now, another thing you can do here is if you need any of these informations to be copied or you need to enter them somewhere, you can copy them. Of course, you have like long numbers here and you don't want to have to write all of them. You can copy them simply by tapping and holding. It will show you the option to copy any one of these details to the clipboard of your device. If you use the zoom feature on your iPhone, which of course can be enabled by going to accessibility and going to zoom, then you must enable also smart typing. Now, this is very, very important and really interesting on how it works. Of course, it's very, very smart. Now, whenever you're zoomed in and you want to type something, so like right here on the nose, I can tap right there to zoom in. You can see this is a full screen zoom. Now, it will be very, very hard if the keyboard pops up here without that feature enabled because it will be zoomed in and it will be very very hard to type something but with that enabled you can see once i type it will switch from the full screen zoom to the window zoom and will place it right where i'm typing not on the keyboard so the keyboard won't be zoomed just the part where i'm typing the text now once you're done with this of course it will switch back to the full screen zoom a very interesting setting can be found also if you go to voice memos now, if you go to voice memos you can enable location-based naming so the voice memos that you make will be automatically named based on the location you're at the next very important feature i'm about to show you guys is found under face id and passcode if you scroll all the way down you will find an option that says erase data right there now this is really important if you have this enabled and you lose your iphone or it gets robbed or something like that it will delete everything on your iphone after 10 unsuccessful attempts to unlock it so someone gets it tries to unlock it a few times after 10 times everything that's on the iphone will be automatically deleted a very cool feature that apple had added on ios 13 was voice control i can find it by going to accessibility and here we'll have voice control now if you go over to voice control you can also enable attention aware now what this does is that it will automatically enable voice control 
when you're looking at your phone. So with this enabled, voice control will be automatically switched on or off, whether you have your attention on the phone or not. A very important setting that I suggest you should take a look at, and of course consider turning it off if you don't have an unlimited plan of data on your device, is found under Cellular. Now under Cellular, right here you can see all the apps that have used more data on my device and also it says here system services so these are the system services that are using data and you can see it has used more than all the other apps now if i scroll down right here i will find also icloud drive now what this does with this enabled is that it will sync to icloud it will sync files of course send files to icloud and all that with the cellular data enabled so if you're not on wi-fi then it will use your cellular data to just basically move files to icloud and that of course will take quite a lot of data so if you don't have an unlimited plan make sure you go ahead and enable it again it can be found under the cellular settings now one of the coolest features and most useful of your iphone is of course the predictive text that you get on the keyboard it is very very nice and of course it will help you a lot when typing to type something faster but sometimes we we'll just get some words there that we don't want to see anymore or just something like that you don't want to have all those like predictive words that you see there you want to reset them so that your iphone will start learning again on high writing then you can do that by going to settings going to general and then just go to reset now right here we'll find reset keyboard dictionary now this will basically turn the keyboard to its stock state so it will start learning again from the beginning how you type and of course all the words that you use if you go to your settings and you go to accessibility right here will find motion now if you enable reduce motion it will reduce the ios animation but once you have that enabled it will show another option right here prefer crossfade transitions now what this does is that it will add that like transition the cross state transition on the apps within the app so if i go to this page move out of this you can see that cross fade transition with that enabled you can see we have the other animation and this one is the cross fade that you get once you have this enabled another very important setting is found under accessibility if you go to accessibility and go to touch right here you will be able to find call audio routing now if you go right here it will be on automatic but you will also have the option here to choose bluetooth headset or speaker so let's say you choose speaker here every time you get a call and you answer it it will automatically go on speaker so if you want to use that or maybe you have like the speaker here damaged or something like that and you want to automatically have your call on the loudspeaker you can enable it from here under accessibility you can also find a feature on siri that has been added also on ios 13 so you go to siri you can enable type to siri now of course with siri we have always to speak to her to ask her something of course you cannot do that all the time so you will have this option right here so if you don't want to speak to siri you just want to type a question you can enable this option which can be found under the siri settings under the accessibility section now have you ever noticed if you start typing a note on your ios 13 device it will start like with a title but of course you don't want to always have to do that it just shows you those bold big letters and you will have to actually go ahead and change that to body in order to type a note normally you can change that on how it works automatically by going to settings and going to notes now if you go to notes and scroll down here we'll find new notes start with and you can choose here with what you want to start to the new notes now the title will be the default if you want to just start like typing a simple note right away you can choose body right there you also have here another setting it's called save to photos now on the notes app you have the option to scan you can also take pictures or scan documents if you enable this then all those pictures that you take using the notes app will also be automatically saved to the photo library on your iphone otherwise they will be just on the notes app on your device you probably have noticed that you have haptic feedback for everything you do like closing an app or a pop-up or doing something that is always in haptic feedback but you can also disable that by going to sounds and haptics by scrolling all the way down and you will find here system haptics and this will completely turn off all the system haptics on your device also you can completely turn off the vibration in your device by going to accessibility 
and going to touch and right here will find vibration. So this is the kill switch for vibration. Every vibration that is on your device will be turned off if you switch it right here. And last but not least is an option that can be found on do not disturb. If you go to do not disturb, you will have here auto reply to. Now you can choose your favorites, recent, all contacts and all that. So it will be automatically replied when you have do not disturb turned on. But the auto reply is right here and it's by default this one. You can change that to anything you want. Simply tap right here and by just tapping there you will have the option to delete this and type anything you want as your auto reply for when you have on do not disturb. So that is it for this video guys. These are 20 hidden features and settings that you should know on your iPhone because of course they're very very useful and will make your life much easier using your iPhone. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe for more videos and I will see you on the next one.